Buenas noches y bienvenidos al tercer fin de semana del décimo Festival de Cine Latinoamericano de Grand Rapids. Good night, everyone, and welcome to the third weekend of the 10th Grand Rapids Latin American Film Festival. This year, the festival is fully online and runs from September 15th to October 15th. We're beginning the last two weeks of the film festival. Tonight, we're showcasing the film Niña Errante, Wandering Girl, by director Rubén Mendoza. Rubén is joining us from Colombia to talk about his film and to answer your questions. Don't forget that you can participate in the conversation and ask questions via Facebook Live and our YouTube channel. Rubén Mendoza was born in Colombia and has had a prolific and successful career in film. He has written and directed eight short films that have won several international awards. In 2014, Mendoza premiered two fiction feature films, Tierra en la Lengua, and Memorias del Calavero, for which he received the awards for Best Film in the Fiction category and Best Director in the Colombian Film category at the 54th edition of the Cartagena Film Festival. In 2015, he released the documentary El Valle Sin Sombras. This was followed by another documentary in 2017, Señorita María, La Falda de la Montaña, which premiered at the 57th edition of the Cartagena Film Festival, where he was recognized as Best Director in the Colombian Film category. Mendoza's sixth feature, feature film and his fourth in the, fi in the fiction genre, Niña Errante, Wandering Girl, won the Film Development Fund's Comprehensive Incentive in 2015. It is also the first Latin American film to win the Golden Golf Award for Best Film and the Award for Best Soundtrack during its global premiere at the Black Knights International Film Festival in Tallinn, Estonia. The film also won the Bisnaga de Plata Award for Best Supporting Actress at the Malaga Spanish Film Festival and Best Fiction Film at the 7th Colombian Film Festival in New York. So, with further ado, welcome, Ruben, and thank you for being with us tonight. Hi, and thank you so much for having me and for having the film. Oh, no. We're, we're happy and excited to have you. We just finished watching your, your film. I, I enjoyed it very much, uh, both thematically and aesthetically. So, the, the first question that I would like to, to ask you is, like, What was the inspiration or the incentive to, to, to do a film about sisterhood and, and, and female experiences? Well, um, mostly what is uh, for me like um, my meal, which is the road. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my main concern As well, this is a very macho co country, very full of malehood and macho energy, which I carry on my blood, of course, and my character, but I really try to avoid or reject or reject or, or change, you know. So I had this idea that how different uh, is a trip of, or uh, can be a trip of four sisters in getting across all over, you know, a, a macho country how different it would be if there were four boys, you know? And the second thought, uh, I, 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 wanted to, I wanted to be inside of a, of a meeting, of, of an intimate meeting of four uh, women. Uh, and the, I, I was asking myself, what, what, which could be the, the dispositivo, the, um, How do you say this positive? Like, 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 the, like the vehicle? The vehicle? The... Como cuando dices un teléfono, esa palabra sí, un teléfono, un dispositivo. Like the device. The, the device. Mm -hmm. It be the device. Uh, to be able to be inside of, of that uh, chat and be as mystical, as, 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 yeah. as private as if, if the camera was not there. So. I thought that the, the perfect vehicle or, or, or dispositive or <laughs> device will, will be the girl, but a girl who lacks of uh, female energy in, in, in her in her race. Not that, not energy on her, but I mean, uh, of, of female uh, ground around, you know, because because you know the situation with the mother. So so she represents in a way male the male um, curiosity. So uh, that was like the the two main main points i want to say 
that uh, that I'm in the road. That I'm not trying to, you know, to, to pretend <laughs> I read all this stuff. I'm in the bookstore of a friend of mine, who I remember just. I want to tell the people that we were running like crazy, like 20 minutes ago, to find a place. <laughs> but I was really in the road. I was in a very shitty hotel, even worse than the one in the film, really worse, with worse <laughs> light and worse internet connection. But I was able, and I wanted to thank my friend, even if he's not here, to borrow me his his place. This is very far away from my city. This is another city called Armenia. I live in Cali, where the film, which, where, where the film starts. Uh, I'm, I'm far away. I'm like uh, five hours in my car. And, and and I'm glad I was able to to find a a nice connection so so we can be connected tonight. We are in any way, but yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, well, I think that we have a question from um, the audience. I think from Jake um, Klontz. Yeah. Uh, so Jake is asking, what most influenced you during your time directing this movie? I think, um, well, maybe you you are not informed about uh, uh, the political situation in my country because uh, Colombia is not uh, one of the empires of these times, you know. It's, 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 it's normal to be in form of the empires, you know. I know your president has COVID, for example. Um, uh, so there was a very spe special moment in my country where we were believing we were we were starting to live in peace after more than sixty years of, mm -hmm. you know. This 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 is the film that broke me the most of the problems I had in my normal life. Also, because there was like a, uh, a very big uh, uh, problem when I made a speech uh, when when the film was released, but it was my for me myself it was the easiest film I made. My other films are, are quite harsh and much more anarchical and celebrates you know the, the, the low depths and, and drugs and, and, and how pain illuminates lives and stuff. This should be my easiest film also for audiences, but uh, we got this uh, exchange of, of government while the film was made, and we are like 30 years before again, you know, full of fascist energy and malehood and people want to make fracking, you know, and rape the country, like if it was, a, you know, a... Uh, mistreated women and the rivers are getting dry again and you know the peace was shit so my, but but that I was my, but that was my, my my main inspiration you know like we are we can change our questions now we can we can we can deal with the there's this for me this subtle speech in the film that power has to go back to female hands that means to to, to the earth through female hands you know no matter if i'm a, a director you know my my my, my feminino my, my 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 female is huge. for me is huge too and and i'm and i'm trying to have eyes and ears connected to this next revolution that has been cooking for centuries you know feminism i mean so um so uh, I, I was uh, my 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 energy was hope you know we can we can ask another some other things now. We we, we, we can we can speak about sisterhood and we can speak about uh, how do you say duelo, mourn you know to how to mourn somebody and about and about making links and about biology. It was I got a, a new full catalog of questions that 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 the motherfucker of my president. I'm sorry. If you, uh, <laughs> Tear down, you know. He made my film so. All these people that is in my government really, they 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 made all this energy of inspiration. They make it all. They made the film old, and I I, I I I this film should be for another moment, you know. Well, now that you are um, talking about that, um, in about nature, that's that's one of the things that that 
that strike me. I mean, the the scenes that that take place in nature are beautiful, and um, I mean, I watched the film on my computer, so I didn't have like a big screen. But probably when you see the film in the in the theater in a big screen, those those shots have to be even more impressive. So. Um, Tell us about a little bit about your experience. I mean, shooting in these um, places and locations, and well, the meaning of, of nature in or the meanings of nature in the film. You talk a little bit about extractivism and like fracking, all this. Well, uh, you know, my country is like several countries in the same country, mm -hmm. like like everywhere. You know, like I, I yes. feel borders are just a line that works for some some powerful someone you know i believe in, in, in real borders like the sea or rivers or uh, or the mountains or an exchange of language you know so uh, and here we don't have seasons but mm -hmm. when you change altitude the climate is completely different that means the, pe the people dress different speak mm -hmm. different they have another food because they cook other, they can uh, harvest another stuff, you know, and so you, you can feel like a foreigner in, in 50 kilometers, you know, or less, really. Uh, so uh, I, I wanted to, I, I didn't want to make like postcards because I, I, I don't like when, you know, like filmmakers, and I don't like being a filmmaker that, that puts in this position of, you know, the brand of the country, you know. And just, you know, I believe in this uh, Tao principle that you don't think about beautiness and beautiness will rise, will appear, you know. So uh, don't think about beauty. I don't know, beauty or beautiness. Sorry about my English. But uh, uh, for me, all this, 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 this Tao is things of celebrating vacuum, of, of, of cele celebrating inutility are in all my framings and in all the spirit of my film. I have to say I work with a very, very, very talented DP. She's a, a, a she's a gorgeous spirit and a gorgeous woman and a gorgeous brain. I really I'm a fan of we are friends, but I'm a fan of her too. And um, we make a she 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 likes the pictures I, I take during the pre-productions, and she served me also as a model. And, and she's a great still photographer too. We share the camera. We, we just put one little rule, like uh, if you do one shot, you do the whole takes of a single shot. Mm -hmm. we, we couldn't exchange. But we speak a lot. We saw a lot of art before, you know. Francesca Woodman, one American, was was one of the very, 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 very most important energies and inspirations of the film. And Deborah Arango and another, uh, and some po poets, some, some women poets from here. Lucia Berlin, who's also from the United States. But, and, uh, and 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 I I make these huge notebooks. I don't have it with me. They're really huge. Where I put the, the where I uh, stick the the screenplay, but with, with tape, so you can you can have like a full canvas to work. And it's the first time I draw the, the full film. I reject. I, I I quit a lot of those drawings when we were shooting because mm -hmm. for me film filmmaking is like retenir. I don't know how to say it. Like like. You have this. It's for me, filmmaking is just one writing, you know, with several tools. And you start writing in your imagination. You don't need mm -hmm. words, even, you know. You start with, the Im with your imagination, then you write over retines mm -hmm. with 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 words and with letters. Then 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 you rewrite with when you find the face or the correct actress or actor or, or the correct location. Or when you meet somebody that speaks something special that you can rewrite, and then you rewrite with the camera, and each take is a rewriting, and you know, and of course the re the rewriting of the editing and the montage. So, uh, that's what I draw the full film because for me it's one writing, and and sometimes I have thirteen film drawings or or shots for a sequence that in the shooting became just one, but I was just able. To be to to make all those shots one because I already made these drawings, and that that notebook for me is like a, 
it's, it's, it's a really it's a, an object that I really love. Each film of myself has a, this huge. It, it becomes like a fireplace, you know. And when we are working together, because we read around the notebook and we decide. And, and sometimes I draw in the very location, or or sometimes mm -hmm. I don't, don't draw at all, or I use pictures I took as stickers, you know. So mm -hmm. I prefer. I'm really bad uh, at uh, drawing or at, at drawing. So, and 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 I this time I have the pleasure and the honor to make to prepare this notebook with uh, Sofia herself on my side, you know, with the picture we took for months during those trips, and she was making also the. I don't know how to say los planos de piso, you know, like from you know the positions of the camera and the, of being from the upside, like, like architecture plan plan. Those notebooks join me till the very end of the post production because I do all the the editing notes there, and, you know, also in documentary. But I got that this honor so, and and we were really focused on honoring and thanking the real light of the places, you know? And nature for me is like a, a fifth sister in the film. Mm -hmm. also, also music for me was working like a fifth sister. Like, I think almost every plastic aspect of the film for me worked as the fifth sister, you know? And, but, but, but nature for sure is, you know, even for example in the in the long in the longest dream you know she finds this this behuko is in, i don't know in, in english but this it has the it, we found it that day and it has the shape of the of the belly oh, the, that the, the, the branch of the yeah. tree you know that it's mm -hmm. so uh and we were actually really honoring also the elements you know the the, the earth and the, the wood the the, the, the the trees the the fire the water is everywhere you know it's in the tears in the salif when they talk in the rivers we shot more than 20 rivers and in the film actually you can see like nine or something like that we shot oh. in several rivers you know and there's this beautiful place where the sea joins the the river you know this this, this only shot we made from the from the sky so uh, and I, 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 I love that that film made me use like all the transport medium, you know, that we have available in our country. Even, even the first, you know, where they go by the, the railroad in this where she's mm -hmm. in the tunnel and stuff. We went by yeah. ship like car and, and this, this, this very archaical thing where you put the car and you go across the river. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that 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 scene with the where you put the car and go across the river that that, that was a, that was a very interesting scene too because yeah a different mode of transportation you haven't seen that in a long time <laughs> yeah yeah so now that you mentioned water we have a question from Eric um, who is asking about the the symbols of of water uh, the river the empty pool the bathtub the shower the ocean. So, what he's asking, like, what, what, what was the intentionality of this? Well, um, I'm really bad of, of thinking in terms of symbols, but I'm sure I create, like everyone, in, in those mm -hmm. terms, you know. But uh, I think I a little bit answered the, the, the question in, the, in the, the previous, in my previous intervention, but. Let me think. The water. Well, for me personally, the water is like patience. You know, it's what mm -hmm. shapes the world and uh, made our life uh, possible. You know, and, and in all his his forms, in the sea and the rain, in the in the river, uh, so magical. How the, you know. If you have one drop, you don't you don't do anything to a stone. But if you got a drop for centuries, you know what you can do. Or it's, for me, it's really impressive how you know a drop can can do anything. But a river is just drops and drops and drops together. You know, so it also talks to me about sisterhood. And, but yeah, for me, 
water is like is, is, is a way of getting all attached you know, together to the elements, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a repetitive idea, but I really agree with you. And this is science, you know. I really believe we are all one, and it's it's a scientific fact that we are all made of the same things, of the same materials of the stars, you know, everything started in the Big Bang and everything we know and touch and know comes from there. So I think uh, water kind of uh, gently, uh, mm -hmm. and sometimes very violently uh, caresses the elements, you know, and put them together and los pule and pulish them. And, 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 and water makes really the shapes of the earth and the elements but also the shapes of civilizations you know yeah Every, everyone tries to be near to the water the water heals everything you know if you are stressed you take a, 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 a hot uh, shower if you are thirsty you take a, a cold glass of water if, if, if you are anguish you know water is the answer for everything you know? That's not, a, a, I'm not inventing this. I listen to in several cultures, you know, and in several spiritual leaders, indigenous, you know. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and it's, it, as you said, it's it's connected to life and and certainly the film has this aspect and this theme of, of life and possibility and change because the lives of these, these characters are, are changing. So, um, I love you, but I have Oh, there you are. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so we have a question also from Christina. Uh, what were some of the biggest challenges um, you faced while making the film? I think uh, my country is a really difficult country. I mean, it has everything at the same time, you know, like joy and happiness and beautiness in, in everything everything is vibrating and at the same time uh, all the, the bad things too you know so uh, getting across the country you know they really drive here like killers you know <laughs> we, we were like a big crew working in the, the edges of the roads and uh, I think that was a uh, about the shooting, about the, the, the essence of the film. Well, um, I got a lot of punches because of being a man trying to do these, these things, like if topics got gender also, you know. So I really, especially in my country, I have a hard time when, when we start screening the film. Mm. Uh, but it, it had very beautiful reviews on and, and all the, the huge magazines, you know, and even from there, you know, like Variety and mm -hmm. the Report and all this stuff. But he was like a war. And uh, it really makes me mm, bigger, bigger, my desire of, of disappear, you know, and being forgotten. And I'm, I'm really locked uh, in the road for, for sure. I'm really not um, involved like in the world of cinema. I mm -hmm. love cinema, but not the world of cinema. So for me, it was a very painful when, when we start sharing the film because also about the speech I told you, there was a lot of political reaction and, and consequences with me. Uh, this beautiful family, I can say, that make the film with so much fraternity and so much love and so much creativity and solidarity we were all affected when when all the shit that they throw over us and over me started i was really amazed and also when people that didn't know that the director was a man when they when they knew they also like kind of reject the thing and i understand but as i told you and i can mm -hmm. tell it in a very raw way like this incredible how different life is uh, just for having a, a, a penis you know it's so, different. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so different 
and and I know that the most of the disadvantages, I mean, just think about in terms of, of the fears that a man has. Mm -hmm. so different than the fears that a woman has. That a woman has, yeah. It's just the difference is one moment of one chromosomal, chromosomal stuff, and, you know, just a penis make the life and, 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 and fears so different. And fears, fears, fears are like the opposite of water, you know. <laughs> <laughs> When when you are a man and you take a wrong uh, square, a wrong wrong street, you have certain amount of fear and certain kind of fear. But if you're a woman, the fears are completely different, and that's very unfair. But I have to to deal it also in my flesh, like uh, the opposite. And I think it it's okay also, you know, because the center is of abuse. It is normal that. But it was a very very specific group of people, but. But it was the, the, the hardest part for me, you know. Like I create to try to make links and make uh, love and make a colorful life, uh, no matter if the, the topics are harsh or hard or, or, or painful, you know. Like, uh, as I was telling you at the beginning, you can make light out of pain. It's the, it's the best light, you know. The people that can make life light out of pain is really... For me, the, the people that I think I shoot in the most of my film and the most in, inspirational people for me, you know, too. people that cannot choose the pains as, as we as artists can the most of the time, you know, it's a privilege. Yeah, oh, well, that's that's really interesting because, yeah, I mean, we, I, I read a few, you know, reviews of, from Variety and Hollywood Reporter and they were pretty positive, so um, they... Yeah. But I didn't know uh, that that um, you experienced that in in Colombia. So yeah, yes. that that was interesting. Horrible. So. Horrible. They compared the film with a rape. You know? Oh wow! So the film is a rape itself. That's tough. Yeah. Horrible. But yeah. Well, we're talk. We're we're just gonna like um, here. I think that the that the film is 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 you know really uh, beautifully made and we 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 have a lot of um positive things to highlight so i actually have um another question from jessica and she's asking about the actresses she says did the actress did the actresses form a strong bond while filming such a such an intimate movie that's an interesting question very strong between them and between mm -hmm. the with some of them, I got uh, some of my strongest relationship right right now. Myself, some one of one of them was living outside of Colombia after we finished the, the shooting, and when she came back, she lived three months in my in my home. And with the little one, well, she's changing so much now, but this is one of the most important persons in my whole life since I met her. Like I, I really love her in so many ways, but I know the question is between them. Between them was really an incredible mixture. We got this very strong and and and, and massive and compact uh, period of, of rehearsal with a very very very. It was a very close friend, but it's, it's also a very well known actor, trainer, coach. Mm -hmm. and they made something really really strong in terms of being very elastic both uh, emotionally and physical physically for the film so we can shoot whatever we want in whatever moment we want and they were really ready you know to, to be in the mood and to be physically mm -hmm. it was very very hard training and so the the link started there very strong oh, and good. they were really I mean just to tell you something the the all uh, the oldest the eldest oldest mm -hmm, the oldest uh, mm -hmm. daughter which is a very very well known actress here in Colombia because the other are uh, non professional um, the oldest uh, made up like the, the the girl I told you that was living outside of the country she had to 
because you know as Colombian it's a very hard honor to, to you have to have a visa to go everywhere and when you are saying you you want to study in some other place like she was going to Europe to study you have to show like oh, the... $25,000 dollars in your bank account that she didn't have but the actress the main the, or something like that she behaved like the real like that all the seasons mm -hmm. like not just in terms of money like protecting and trying to open doors in acting and and uh, in the acting industry for the other sisters they were they they when they got together is really really magical it's, they learned to love each other a lot and um, there were some mm -hmm. strength we didn't measure at that time uh, that have consequences even today about what we did and how we did it but uh, they have this sisterhood like in real life to to deal with it yeah. that that's good and i think that, that that shows in the in the film and we have actually another question from rebecca uh, about the dream sequences in the film it says most of them are set in beautiful landscapes but in one of the most beautiful and surreal scenes of the movie we see angelica interacting with a bulldozer or Angela, I think. And then we see the bulldozer destroy a piano. Can you talk about the significance of this scene? Well, um, I got this image of, uh, of, uh, of this bulldozer playing piano and I thought it was beautiful. Like, I like dreams. Mm -hmm. I give, they work in the real life. For me, dreams not always are giving explanations about real life, you know? They, they, they are not just there to justify how do you live. I believe in the power of dreams and sometimes they tell you very strong things about your present or even your future or your past. I believe on that, but also sometimes you really also dream really free, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm really bad remembering my, my dreams and I'm trying everything because you know, my films, they have dreams, but I, I got this as a rule, you know, that dreams, shouldn't be always to give explanations or hints about a character. You sometimes dream about what you saw during the day and you mix it all up, you know? You, you can remember at the beginning, uh, oh, when, 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 when the father, when, when she plays the, the, the disc that the okay. father left, he said like he's happy because they have piano in the hotel. And when, when in the funeral, the older sister said, like, this is my father playing the piano. So it was a way of, for me, like, without getting, like, too mystical or touching about, you know, about what a dream can be, like, to mix all the things she was living, you know, the road mm -hmm. and the, the life, uh, like, in, like, a working progress life permanently, you know, like, starting and starting but, uh, but for me some of the dreams have more sense attached to, to the feelings uh, and the developing of the character but like this sequence uh, you can find it yourself but uh, but it's like really free you know mm -hmm. okay and well we have one more question from Lily after the experience of making this movie have you noticed any change in yourself in regarding how you relate to women? I think that this is also a really interesting question, especially after what you told us about how the film was received in Colombia, all this. So I think that this would be, this is a good question to uh, close that. Yes, a lot. Mm -hmm. I think I always have a great link with women. You know, I was, for example, very close to my grandmother and um, I was very curious about uh, women since I was very little and my curiosity has a very healthy way and a very beautiful way, a colorful way and also have a very dark and patriarchal way because that's the way we learn to talk in, that's our mm -hmm. mother talk in the world, you know, it's patriarch, patriarchal and, pa and, uh, and patriarchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I change, but also I'm a perpetrator in so many ways, very subtle, some of them, and some very explicit. I'm trying to look on them and 
fix it, you know. I got a daughter, a five-year-old daughter. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, I won another world for her. And uh, I also want her not to be, uh, uh, not just she, that not to have wounds, but she not to make wounds to others, you know. So it's difficult because... Yeah, and the art world and cinema world is also very patriarchal and very, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm trying hard, and I also, I also believe you. You carry the backs of your antepasados. How do you say that? Of your ancestors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of uh, uh, of pending stuff there. So you have to deal with your stuff and you have to work also. You are the, the echo of, the, of these other men and other women. So uh, I like the question because I think it changed, but I think it's not enough, you know? I think, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's changing more now than in the moment. Even knowing that the, it was a very, 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 uh, euphorical uh, and, and energetic shooting. Mm -hmm. Beautiful was you know like the strength and the energy put in what it, what it is, not in ego, not in the the hierarchy. hierarchy, hierarchy. The hierarchy. Mm -hmm. hierarchy. And more than the seventy percent of the crew were was women. You know, you know and, and you know the musicians were women. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the music is really, really, really amazing. Yeah. They are, soundtrack. they are twins, they are twins, they are sisters, twins, mm -hmm. uh, really witches, special witches. The the editor, the co we co-edit the film, but the, the editor is a great Chilean editor. Uh, I, I told you, you know, the, the most of the crew were women. Were women. And we were all, all the men, we are, we are men that I think we, we try to listen. But sometimes uh, the echoes you have in your voice are, you know, too strong and the personalities are too deformed or damaged uh, but but all of I think there was a lot of nice male who the nice men in the men. Thing, you know, we are like like very open to learn and to and to fix and to you know release and stuff okay well Ruben um, we are running out of time so it was a pleasure to have you, um, and thank you for your time and sharing your film with us, your experiences. And well, just to remind everyone that tomorrow we will be showing the Brazilian film The Fever at 8 p.m. And on Sunday, we have uh, our selection of uh, short films will become available at 8 p.m. So follow us on social media and our website to get the access information. And well, uh, buenas noches y gracias por acompañarnos. And thank you, Ruben. Saludos a Colombia. Thank you so much for everything and